In Creo Parametric 11.0, the shrink wrap feature used in top-down design now supports multi-body. In order to understand this enhancement, it helps to take a look at how shrink wrap worked in previous versions. Here I am in Creo Parametric 10. I have an assembly open. Let me create a brand new part in which I will create a shrink wrap feature. I click on the Create button and part is selected as the subtype. I will accept the default name and click the OK button. And I will use my standard default template and click OK. And I will use the right mouse button to locate this component using the default constraint. And then I can complete placement using the middle mouse button. Now I will click on the new component in the model tree and then use the activate icon. Let's start off a shrink wrap feature. And here we have the collection method dropdown list. I'm gonna change from outer shell to auto collect all solid surfaces. And I am not going to exclude internal components. If you take a look at the references tab, we have collectors for surfaces, edge chains, and datums. If I go to the options tab, well, most of this is grayed out. There is an option to solidify resulting geometry and you have your update options. Let me click on the check mark in order to complete the feature and let's wait while it grabs all the different surfaces. All right, the shrink wrap feature is complete. Let me deselect everything. Let's go to that part and open it up in its own separate window. And here we can see that we have a shrink wrap ID 74 feature. I will expand the design items folder and there are 342 quilts that were collected, but there's only one body. If I expand this, well, that body is empty because I have no solid geometry in this part. So that is how shrink wrap worked in Creo 10. Okay, here I am in Creo Parametric 11.0. Let's repeat that process. I will create a brand new component. Let's click the OK button and I will use my standard default template. Let me use the right mouse button to get to the default constraint and then complete placement using the middle mouse button. I will activate the component as before by clicking on it with the left mouse button and then using the activate command from the mini toolbar. Let's start the shrink wrap feature and now let's go to the collection method dropdown list. Once again, we will change to auto collect all solid geometry. And no, we are not going to exclude internal components. You may have noticed when I changed the collection method, there is a collector here for bodies, but it is grayed out. Let's go to the options tab. And this looks quite different from before. Here we have the resulting geometry type. Right now it's set to quilts, but I will change it to bodies. And for the copying method, you can keep each body as a separate object, or you could choose to merge. And with merging, there are essentially two main options. You can merge all the bodies in a part to form a single object, or you could merge everything to form one single body. And here's the option to leave as separate objects if the operation fails. Let me go back to keep as separate objects. And here's the copy geometry update options like before. So this is good. Let's hit the check mark. All right, the feature is complete. Let me deselect everything. And then like before, let's open up this part in its own separate window. And it looks a lot like before, except if we go to our design items folder and expand it, here you can see that we have 154 bodies. So we got all these different bodies from the different components that were brought in from the assemblies. And you can expand it and you can see the reference copy geometry feature. Here we have our shrink wrap ID. But this is going to be a huge difference for people who are doing top-down design because now you have all this solid geometry that you're referencing from the parent level assembly available to you. So there you have it. That is the new multi-body option for shrink wrap in Creo Parametric 11.0.